morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer via Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers. So if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two brands that we carry. If you're looking for something used, like what I've got behind me, we take anything from little bumper pulls to big LQs and on trade. So this is actually a trailer that came in on a trade. They traded on one of our, our new stock combos. And this is a 2016 Circle D stock combo. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the Circle D brands, they haven't changed much over many, many years. Um, they are a really good, simple ranch trailer. Now they've got kind of several different lives. They've got their straight livestock trailers and then they've got their stock combo options. On some of their combo options, you can do drops on the hip or plexiglass, or sorry, drops on the head side or plexiglass and air gaps on the head side. This one right here just has those air gaps, so it's a little bit more set up for running cattle and horses. We are 20 foot on the floor here with a four foot front tack and 16 feet of stock area. So this is gonna be a really good handy size to pull around. Underneath here, we have <clears throat> a single leg jack with a spring assist foot there. Your spare tire, it, it matches the wheels that are on the ground. So you've got all steel wheels. They're that painted white steel. These Circle Ds come in several different colors. The people that uh, purchased this one, they opted for white originally. So it's gonna stay a little bit cooler. Um, these, are an, these are a steel trailer. So you know, you, you're gonna wanna keep up on the upkeep of the paint just to help prevent that rust that, that could happen. But in Colorado, we send, tend to see these steel trailers last a really long time. You've got an adjustable coupler here, so you can run it up based on the height of your tow vehicle, your safety chains, your breakaway cable. And then as we work our way around here, you've got a lockable tack room, so you can lock up all your valuable equipment. This running board kind of extends out to the front here so even though you've got a threshold a little bit right there you still have somewhere to put your foot to step up into this trailer they've got a little built-in brush box on this one they've got the plexiglass thrown up in the nose here so if you need to close it in a little bit more it just gives you that option to kind of have some flexibility with your airflow and then you've got two little windows on either side of that gooseneck nose and you get a little air moving through this one Right over here, we've got our saddle tiers. Um, so you've got some space to, to throw all your equipment, your bridle hooks on this side. You can see that the bridle hooks as they swing back and forth, they'll leave some of those marks on it. Um, if you ever wanted to, you can go in and put carpeting behind like we do on a lot of our trailers, but <clears throat> it's not really gonna hurt these, these sheets here. Got a rubber mat on the floor, this whole this whole floor from front to back is a, is a nice heavy duty wood decking. And in the stock area, we've actually got a polylast floor. So it gives you that drainable option. You don't have to worry about pulling mats out and it's a lot more texturized. We'll show you once we get in the stock area. Underneath this trailer, you're running on two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. Now, one of the cool things that we do here at TransWest is we actually have an alignment machine. So every used trailer from little bumper pulls to big LQs, anything over 26 feet or anything that is air ride um, <coughs> gets put on the alignment machine. So one of the biggest things that we see is a lot of alignment issues, which contributes to blown tires and, and you're replacing fenders. And by putting these trailers on the alignment machine, we can make sure that those trailers track nice and straight down the road our specs are a lot tighter than even the specs that they get on a new trailer straight from the factory. So that is one of the biggest benefits of buying something from TransWest. This trailer is also gonna be run through our shop through a multi-point inspection and anything that's safety will absolutely be, be addressed. Anything that's cosmetic, depending on what our budget is on these used trailers, sometimes we'll, we'll delve into that a little bit. But these trailers, before they leave here, 
are fully inspected and serviced through our service department. So you know that you're not just getting a trailer that was washed and thrown out on the line. This is a trailer that's actually been run through our shop. We've added costs to it to make sure it's right for the next customer. Now as we work our way up above here, you've got some tie rings all the way down the side here. And then you've got those slats if you wanted to throw that plexi on the hip side or the head side, just to enclose it a little bit more. Big rear gate here. And we're seven tall and 610 wide on this one. So pretty standard size, you know, you're, you're gonna fit your average sized horses in here. On this actual stock compartment, we've got a straight wall, a cut gate with a slider, and it's actually got a slam latch on it. This is that poly last floor we were talking about. I'll show you guys in just a second. So that's got a slam latch on it. It releases right here, and then you've got your slider right here. And you've got some uh, vortex line down low, just a little bit more kick resistance down here. And then this poly last floor sitting on top of those wood planks. And so as a horse or a cow urinates, all that liquid's gonna find its way through this floor and out, out to the curb. So it just makes it a lot easier to clean up. Um, you just go in and power wash it out and it's pretty easy to maintain. If you've got horses that are shod, sometimes they'll They'll paw at this stuff, and if they really work on it, they might be able to get some of these little treads up, but they have a patch kit they can send you to, to repair those, those places where you've got a horse that was just a little too grumpy to ride in the trailer. Rear bumper. And then as we work our way around to this side, you'll see we've got more tie rings on this side, um, as well as additional track for those plexis that were up front. The tires on this one, if, if a trailer comes in and the tires are uneven wear, bad tread, older than five years or not matching, as long as we didn't do just safety onlys on them, they're gonna get replaced. So these ones actually came in with good tires. Um, they are 2020s and um, I saw it on one of these tires here earlier. I like to kind of show you guys, perfect, right here, uh, how to find the DOT code on these tires. A lot of times if you're trading a trailer into us, we ask to you to find the age on your tires for us and if they're all kind of matching. Generally, if they're put on the same time, they're gonna be close in date. They might be a week or two off. But what we're looking for is these four digits that are lightly circled. The first two digits are the week of production and the last two digits are the year. So this is a, a late model 2020 tire, so it's well within our specs. And it's a good thing for you guys to know at home too because Sometimes people forget how long it's been since they've replaced tires. And if you're sitting with eight-year-old tires on your trailer, there's probably a good chance you don't want to go roll down, roll down the highway and cross country on them. So a nice little tip there. And then as we work our way back up around front, I can show you guys the stock tag here. So if you're looking for this trailer on our website, you can just go to transwest.com, search the stock number, it is 5U. 231746. This trailer is nothing fancy, but it's a really solid option for somebody that wants something that's a little bit more flexible for, for horses and cattle. You've still got that separate tack area to keep all your equipment really nice at a really great price point. So if you guys want to give me a call with any questions you might have, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to tune in with us today. I hope everybody has a great Friday.